Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 19 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, dielectrics, electric energy storage. So there we can see we have capacitors, right? And the errors for the two planes is given, A is given, and the Epsilon naught is a constant. And also we know we can change the separation distance between two planes, X to change the capacitance because the capacitance equal to epsilon naught times a times a divided by x right and we can change x to make c changes mm -hmm. and in this case we can see the maximum capacitance is given and the minimum capacitance is given ask you to find the maximum x and the minimum x so easy right so we can just uh, do the calculation for the x in this function. So convert this function, we can find the distance between the two planes equals to epsilon naught times a over c, right? If the c is max, so if c chooses max, this is maximum capacitance. So in the corresponding x is the maximum x, right? So we input all the given quantity, give answer there. Similarly, for the capacitance is minimum, so we can make the gap x minimums equal to epsilon naught times a over the mi minimum capacitance. Input all the quantities, we get answer there, right? And then the, the part a is solved. We look at the part b. Part b tell you if the dx or if the delta x um, to be accuracy to which x can be determined and determine a formulas for delta x. So it looks like we need to find a formula for delta x, right? How can we do that? We can say, uh, we know the x, this is the gap between the two planes, equal to epsilon naught a, epsilon naught times a over c. Now we need to find delta x, so we can use this function, right? Do the differential with x to c, agree? So differential x with dx dc and then times delta c is the delta x, right? Because this one, this one can cancel it. And then delta x is just uh, looks similar to dx. This is a very small fraction of the x, right? Now we input the function for x inside and then we get it there. Mm -hmm. You can input the c function inside so you input the c function inside now it looks like this one simplified you get the final answer there and this negative side doesn't matter because their delta x is the change of the gaps right it is change larger or smaller doesn't matter so we can see it looks like this one so this function next one determine the percent accuracy to which x mean and s max can be measured right so this is the function we justified now if we want to find the accuracy with x mean so that means we use a delta x mean over x mean this uh, we input the delta x mean inside get a function look like this one input all the given quantity get answer there similarly we can do that for x max right so input the delta x inside we can see we get function look like this one input all the given quantity answer is there thank you